Hello guys and welcome back to MC Majin Tutorials. My name is Nick and today I'm going to be showing you how to do the final step and download and install your mod essentially. So in the last videos we've covered how to create new items, tools, armors, plants, generators. So we've covered all that. We've got that all set up here. And the last thing we've got to do is download the mod and set it up. So we're going to do that. So at the top you'll see the download button and you'll come to a list of options here. Forge version 1.8. And down back all the way to 1.64 when I initially started supporting Forge. Mod Loader 1.62 back when Mod Loader stopped existing. I, I've supported Mod Loader for a lot longer than that. But I don't really maintain the old ones because there is no guarantee that they work for anything but the latest version. Well, I don't guarantee the latest version works either. But but uh, there's a pretty good chance the latest version will work. Um, but I don't maintain the old ones is what I'm trying to say. So you'll be brought to this page where you can see all the code that's been generated. Uh, each separate file. Uh, for your mod, we're not going to do that. The most uh, r rational thing to do is to download your mod zip. Um, and that is because the first time you've installed your mod, you're going to have to get all these files anyways. And to download them one by one would be ridiculous. And then you wouldn't have things like the textures and everything else you want. So, all right, let's grab the zip real fast. All righty, I've got the zip here on my desktop. So all we're going to do is take this and unzip it. I'm using 7-zip, but you could just use the default Windows unzipper. All right, we've got our project here, and we're going to go in here. We go into it, go to the files folder. There'll be a folder that has the name of your project, and then you'll be brought to a folder with all these files. Make sure you read over the license and notice if you want to. Uh, but yeah, so in here you can check out your files. So files main Java. And you go, there's like a million subfolders I know. That's just the way it has to be done. But you can see all your Java files, all the code to how this works is in here if you wanted to look over that. If we go back here, all your resources, go in here, and this is where you could change out all your textures under the textures folder. So you can change out, here are all your block textures. Now, MC Modin, I just programmed it to throw in these default textures for you um, so that they're not totally empty in pink and black boxes because I thought that was ugly. But you can just replace all these textures out with whatever you want, and it'll work. So just give them the exact same files names that I've given them. So all right, let's run this Windows setup-1.8. So all this text initially that pops up is all it's doing here is creating this Forge source folder and copying all those files right there into there. So now all you got to do really is wait. So while this is going, let me explain this real fast. To do this, you're going to need to have Java Development Kit installed. Now, I'm not going to make a tutorial here about how to install Java Development Kit, but it is an extremely easy process. So don't be nervous if you haven't done it before. All you need to do is go to Oracle's website, which I will link to in the description below, and I will link you directly to a JDK download. Um, and all you got to do is download Java Development Kit and install it. And once it's installed, you'll probably need to restart your computer. But aside from that, you should be good to go. So... If, you're not, if it doesn't work, if running these batch files still doesn't work and it's saying uh, not found or something like that, something similar, what you probably need to do is set your Java path variable. Once again, I'm not going to create a tutorial for that right now, but just only, you'll only, only ask that question when it comes to it. So you can ask me in the comments and I can tell you how to do it or whatever. So this setup process is going to run. It's going to take a little while, um, especially here because my computer is not the greatest. So uh, we'll wait it out and I'll come back to you. All right, you can now see that the setup process has finished successfully with status zero and the build process has started. Now, you'll probably get a lot of lag during this build process, and I wouldn't be surprised if my voice has gone a little funky. As the build process is the actual compiling. All right, you can see the build process has finished uh, with uh, status zero. Zero means it worked perfectly and everything went fine. You see the last thing it does is copy your project. So we can just hit enter and close out of that. And now if we go back into this files folder, I've closed out of it on accident. Uh, you can see there will be a name of your mod dash the version number. Setting there, ready to be used in Minecraft. So, let's do that last thing. I've already opened up my mods folder, so we're just going to take this, copy it, and throw it in here. We're going to go ahead and delete. I had another project in here earlier. We're going to throw that in there with the mods. And then the last thing we'll need to do, oops, I closed the wrong folder. Last thing we'll need to do is open up Minecraft. So, we'll open it up. And you'll need to have a Forge installation to run MC Mod Gym Mods, which I assume that most of you who are into modding already know how Forge works and everything, how to install it. So let me go ahead. I don't have it set up properly for this, of course. Select the version of Forge I have set up. Save profile. And we're going to hit play. So we'll cross our fingers and hope it actually works now. So that it, it wouldn't be the first time I've recorded a tutorial and something's gone wrong. But while this is loading up, I'll take a minute to throw a little plug in. Um, on my channel, I do do... Uh, daily gaming videos, lots of Minecraft. I'm doing a Shining Force Let's Play right now. I'm doing a uh, Pokemon Black Soul Link Nuzlocke right now, and I'm also doing uh, Battle Block Theater. And then I kind of do some other videos. I throw in here and there to mix it up, keep it fun. 
you know. So if you wanted to check any of that out, you can. Uh, I would very much appreciate it. You can subscribe to join the team so you don't miss out on anything ever. But there we go. So Minecraft loaded up, which is a it's a good first step. So we're going to do single player. We'll create a new world. We we'll just start in creative mode, and we're going to call this tutorial testing edge. Edge, it has to be edge. All right. Uh, we'll be in creative mode so we can use cheats, and we will generate the new world. Alrighty, I was getting some pretty intense lag, so I just went ahead and switched uh, into Minecraft window to record this way, because it works a lot better. Alright, so let's go ahead and look at the features in the mod now. So, let's go ahead and open up our inventory, and the easiest way to find stuff is probably going to be um, to just go and find the tab. So, down in foodstuffs, we have yummy item of learning, so we'll grab that out and throw it over there. We'll go to our tools, you can see we have our tutorial axe, we'll have our tutorial hoe, we have our tutorial shovel, and we have our tutorial pickaxe. Now, you may realize the sword is missing. That's because it goes under combat. So, let's go ahead and get our tutorial, our yummy item of learning. And under combat, let's also grab out our fancy helmet, our fancy chest plate, our fancy leggings, and our fancy boots. So, there we go. And we can just go over these. We'll right-click on them and equip them all. And now we can just delete them. And now you can see, I made the texture a little bit different than the default, so people didn't think it was diamond, that I was just generating diamond. It is a little different. It is just a recolorized diamond, uh, in all honesty, but it's just a filler texture. I expect you to be replacing these textures with your old textures as we go along. Uh, another thing we're going to need out of here is going to be the seeds. The, the green plant seeds. And under blocks, we'll go ahead and grab out our block of learning. So, we got all our items here. And we'll grab out some bone meal, too, to, to really test this out. So we'll grab out some bone meal so we can do all the testing. All right. We'll actually, we'll leave our, we'll leave our block of learning out just for the moment. All right. So let's go over here, and I'll show you uh, that the mod, everything's working real fast. So we'll start out with our, the first thing you get to look at is your tutorial hoe. So if we right-click on the ground, it obviously hoes the ground. I am in creative mode, so the durability is not going to go down. But uh, we'll plant the seeds. Now, all the textures for the seeds are going to be the same. But they won't function here. If we break this one, oops. Well, you know, real fast, real fast. Let's do something. Let's go ahead and go ahead and game mode zero. All right. So you see, if we break this, it'll just give you your seed back uh, every time you break that. But if we have like a bone meal, this one to fully grown, you can see now when we break it, it also gave me some yummy item. Uh, I think it gives like a random between like one and four or something like that. So uh, it maybe one and three. It does whatever wheat does. I I just made that the exact same formula as wheat. So whatever. However you get wheat, it does it the same way, so no worries on that. So now let's run around a little bit, and so you can see, we can see the hoe is actually getting used up, so we, we left the, the usage really low on these, remember? So we can try the axe out on the tree. You can see it does cut logs quickly. We can try the shovel out on the ground, on the dirt. You can see it breaks the dirt fairly quickly, and we'll break down a little bit with my fist here. And we can see that down here in the dirt, or whenever we get to the stone at least, we can see that the yummy, or the whatever this pickaxe was called, not yummy, the pickaxe that we created breaks the stone very quickly. And let's go ahead and break this pickaxe just for the heck of it. So, there we go. And you can see the armor is working by the uh, textures there. Um, so, that is good for that. And the last thing we want to do, I guess we want to see that it's generated. So, I went ahead and installed X-Ray Mod so that you guys can see this. Uh, you can see uh, the, the, the rarity is very high. Uh, there is an absolute crap load of this. So, let's go ahead and game mode one here. And we can fly over to here real fast. So, break all this out. Alright, we should be good. And we'll go ahead and give ourselves a pickaxe here. Let's grab a diamond pickaxe so we don't have to worry about it breaking. And we gave it a zero. And so, oops. So these, uh, oops, I guess the breakability is nothing. But you can see you don't get the block because we selected rock. So you, oh, you do get block. Um, I don't know, I don't remember if we, we set that. I can't remember what our settings were. Uh, you can't change it. Uh, you can see if you break the ones under, these do fall like sand. And, yeah, so you break them all out, and you get it. So that is that is the entirety of MC Majin right there, guys. Uh, you can obviously do as much as you want with it. Uh, we'll run around real quick, real fast, um, and run down my hunger a little bit so we can eat one of these. All right, my hunger's gone down a teensy-weensy bit, so we'll go ahead and eat this play item here. And you can see it restores my hunger, and now I can regen those hearts. So... That is it. I guess I need to re-implement healing, uh, because I did take that out. Now that I thought about it, I don't know if I'll re-implement healing or not. Uh, Minecraft food by default does not heal hearts anymore, so I don't know if I'll re-implement that as a feature. Uh, I'll have to think about it, uh, for sure, but, yeah. So there you go, guys. I hope this, all this whole setup series, if you've been following along, I hope it's helped you out, uh, in getting on your way to creating your own mods. As always, I do encourage 
that after you have downloaded MC Majin and created your mods with it, that you do take the time and maybe learn how to create a little more uh, your own without MC Majin, perhaps. Uh, and I, what I like MC Majin there for myself is as a basis. And every now and then when I'm doing a Minecraft video for YouTube uh, and I just want some like custom item real fast, I'll go on to MC Majin, my own program. I'll create that custom item real fast. It, I don't have to go find a mod that does it or if the one that doesn't exist. If I just need to be specific for my own little thing real fast, sometimes for a video, I can do it real fast. It's really easy. And these mods all work on servers too. Well, in theory, they work on servers too. I'm not, I'm not going to throw it out there and say that it will always work on a server. But anyways, if it has been helpful, this whole series, and you've learned a lot, please remember to hit the like button down below. If you have any questions, please head over to the Minecraft forums and leave me a post back on the thread. I'll remember there'll be a link to that in the description, of course. And as always, if you are interested in checking out some gaming videos, I do do gaming daily daily gaming videos, as I said earlier. Uh, so feel free to check those out. Uh, they're a lot of fun, and I, we'd be really happy to see you, have you here on the team. So that's it, guys. I do hope you have enjoyed it. I hope uh, happy modding to all of you. I hope it goes very excellently. So these plants will grow. You don't have to bone mill them. I didn't say that, but... I figured it would be obvious. But anyways, yeah. So thanks once again, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.